hello and welcome to another video i thought today i would show you a challenge that i did a couple of weeks ago it was a drawing face challenge portrait tra challenge and portraits have always been something i've really struggled with actually i've loved drawing ever since i was really tiny but portraits faces people i just really always struggled with with and I've I think also I've never found them that interesting to draw to be honest so it's not something I've really persevered with but lately I've been really wanting to get better at them so I set myself a challenge of drawing a face a day for a week and just to see how how I got on really but I thought just to start with I'd show you some drawings that I've done in the past just to sort of show you this kind of styles and things that I, I normally draw so this first one was the first assignment of a children's book illustration course I did. It was about 13 years ago now. Um, so this was, as you can see, it's a collaged piece. So it's watercolour. So you can see the snail, toadstools, birds, a caterpillar, a sycamore leaf and some worms down here as well butterfly there we go so yeah i enjoyed doing that one it's just watercolor and then cut out pieces to make a collage and then the next one i did i can't remember the exact order actually but this one was fiery fred and you noticed that he's set the thatched cottage on fire so that was watercolour as well. And then this one. So this was a cow and his friend, I think it was called. It says the robin holding onto his tail on an icy lake. And then another one I did was this was my favourite one actually. This was called Seb under city under the sink city or something like that and i love anything to do with little worlds and hidden places i really enjoy doing things like that so this was a lot of fun um i did make a mistake with the line i had to change that to just silly but yeah this was a lot of fun actually and you can see all the things that you keep under your kitchen sink my characters are little bubble people so that was that was good um and then a couple of other things i've done more recently i started another children's book and there's a couple of characters there a little polar bear and a penguin and then another book i did was this one so this is paisley parrot tries to talk so, you can see some drawings. This was a watercolour. Um, so I'm just trying to show you that, you know, it's probably not too bad. I mean, I've got lots to improve on, obviously, but, you know, they're okay. You know, the other book I did was this one. And this book was all collaged. So... I think everything was collage except the people, the main characters, uh, May and Joe. They I drew digitally, but everything else was collaged. It took me months to do this. Not as long as Paisley, that took a couple of years, but <laughs> this one took me months to do, cutting out all the little bits. But I did enhance it digitally because the sugar paper was a, didn't quite give the effect I wanted, but yeah so that's that book anyway back to the actual challenge so i've literally only drawn portraits about half a dozen times in my life it's just not something i've particularly enjoyed doing so i thought i'd give this a go so this was my first one i think i did this on easter sunday and it's, to be honest, it's not terrible for 
first attempt in a very long time. I didn't really go any further with it. You can still see the grid lines and everything. I mean, it's okay. It's a bit wonky. The eyes aren't exactly symmetrical, but it was okay. And then the next day, so Easter Monday, I did this one. Where is it? There we go. And I thought this was, wasn't too bad. I thought it was an improvement anyway. So I put them side by side. I don't know if it's an improvement now looking at it. <laughs> she looks a bit surprised, doesn't she? She's still very wonky. Anyway, the third day, I followed a different tutorial. I forgot to say that, actually. I was doing different, following different tutorials. So that was the third day. And I was actually quite pleased with this one. I thought it was a lot better. I like the eyes in that one. And the, the nose is quite good. So that was the third day. And then this one... I was a lot more pleased with so I really like this one you can't really see the grid lines on it very well but I don't know why I didn't go any further with this one to be honest I kind of just stopped I'm not sure. I don't I just don't know why you can see the I've drawn hair over the eyes here and I should have rubbed the eyes out but I didn't want to ruin I just left it but I was I was pleased with that one that was day four and then I had a couple of days off because <clears throat> it's my daughter's birthday and we had a lot going on so this was two days after so it's not exactly a week this took me but still seven days so this was the was this day five yeah day five and I was really pleased with this one actually I like the hairs better and the mouth, the shading on the mouth, I think, was much better this time. You can see. Yeah, I was pleased with the features on this one. Now, the next one is not good, but it was the first one I had done without following the tutorial. So I kind of did this from, well, sort of from memory, really. I mean, she's a bit odd looking but again I was pleased with the shading on the mouth I mean, the features aren't too bad I mean she just does look a bit strange but considering I wasn't actually following the tutorial as I went I thought it wasn't too bad and then the last day was this one I think it's not too bad it's not perfect far from perfect I tried to do a bit better with the hair, got some highlights in it. Um, and the mouth is pretty good, and I like the shape of the nose. I think the eyes could be a bit better. But generally, I think it's it's not too bad. But I wasn't entirely happy that I had not gone further with the other one from day, day three, was that one? This one. So I actually think this is the best looking one, I think. I like the features of this one. So what I did, I did do an extra day, I did cheat a bit. But I scanned it in and printed it out very lightly and just had another go. And this is, this was the, the final one. So this was actually day eight, so a week in a day. But, again, I like the mouth. I feel like I could have done a bit more with the eyes. And the hair, I think, is looking better. I think, considering where I was at the beginning, so that was the first one. You know, I think that's it's not, not too bad, is it? I suppose practice does make perfect. Definitely far from perfect, but an improvement, never, nevertheless. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've achieved over a week and a bit. And I'll see you again next time.